push forward. Hi, Jesse. All right, y'all make sure you can uh, hear me well if you see me, okay? There we go. There we go. I am live. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, Tax Friday, everybody. We're going to talk about face masks today. Face masks have become probably one of, well, definitely, not even probably, the most profitable uh, item that you could sell right now, especially in the uh, digital decorating market. I know personally I have hmm, four or five different face masks, and I'm constantly buying new ones because I like to match my face masks to my shoes. Whatever. The new hottest fashion accessory. I'm all, I'm actually all for wearing the face masks. I really like them. I like that you can only see from the eyes up. I think it's great. Um, and yeah, hey mom. All right, guys. So I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the different face masks that we have today, and we're also going to I'm gonna do a small little Corel demonstration. Um, David, do I need to do something with the sound? Okay. Keep going. All right, I'm just going to keep going. So, what was I saying? I have no idea. I got distracted. Um, oh, yeah, we've got a lot of different styles of masks right now. We just added six new styles to our lineup, and they are um, from Baker Apparel. And we've got... Uh, Adult sizes, medium sizes, and then youth sizes. Let me show you guys a little better. I don't know if y'all can see. David, we're fighting each other for the mouse here. <laughs> um, oh, hey. Maybe if I unmuted myself, maybe if I unmuted myself, you guys could hear me better, right? Sorry about that. That's all my fault. Okay. Now... Let me show you guys these face masks. Okay, so I've got a couple of different styles and a couple. All right, fantastic. A couple of different styles and a couple of different sizes. So we've got these new ones from Vapor, um, and they are double ply. They've got a filter pocket. One side is cotton. The side against your face is cotton, and. This side is polyester. They come with a tag in them, but they're uh, tearaway tags. So you can just pull it and it tears right out. Just like that. Uh, kind of just like that. There we go. Just like that. So these are one-sided. They come in large. This is PFM55, medium PFM54, and small PFM53. They also come in the black trim in the large, which is in PFM52, medium PFM51, and small PFM50. So these are our six new ones. We just got them in uh, a couple of days ago. And then this is the PFM44. So this is the one, uh, one of the styles that are on our website right now. Um, these have the cloth earbands, and these have the cloth earbands as well. Um, so this comes in two sizes. We have the PFM44 with the cloth earbands. We also have the PFM45, which is this size, but with cloth earbands. Now, what we don't have on the website are the PFM44 and 45Bs, which have elastic ear bands. So these two are kind of just about the same thing. The only difference is the ear strap. And then these six are either white trimmed or black trimmed, small, medium, or large. Okay. And they are available right now on our website. All right. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. That's what we're going to be pressing. We're going to press a couple of different sizes of each style so you guys can see them. And also give you a Corel demonstration. Um, one of the things that I was talking about in my class at Open House was how to 
trace how to create a template from a scan. And so what I did is I scanned in um, one of these face masks and we're gonna run through that. But, oh man, I, you know what? I've got a lot of people that are watching already. So guess what guys? Um, I'm gonna give away some art packs today. Uh, these are the art packs that I'm gonna give away. I'm actually, I really like these two because, where's my thing? Um, I really like these, especially for what we're gonna do today because of the youth size masks. So I've got like a um, kind of a, a little boy's design in the robots and then also like a little girl's design with the ice cream. So I figured that would be cute to give away. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'll tell you guys how you can get that art. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is really cute right there. Um, I didn't design these. Well, I designed one, but I didn't design the ice cream one. I love it. It's super cute. Okay. So yeah, stay tuned. You guys will learn how you can get that free artwork and let's press the mask. Actually, before we press the mask, press the mask. Um, before we press a mask, let me, let's take us, well, let's go to Corel and we can show, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to trace it. But I do see, I see a lot of questions and a lot of comments. I'm trying to read all of them. Um, one of the ones that I saw was the price point and these new masks come in a pack of six and they're about, uh, $15 for a pack of six. If you get, you know, one, two for the first price break, and then it goes down from there. Um, and then somebody asks, are the small for children's? Um, they're youth size, you know, they're small sizes, and they're, they're pretty small. So I usually do like an adult small or like um, a child's large, and the big ones don't really fit on me, but these youth ones are, they're small. So this is definitely for um, youth. These are available. They are in stock. Call your rep. Get them now before they go because, y'all, there are so many face masks. And I, like I said, I mean, I, am, I, I like to buy face masks now because I like to match my face mask to my outfit because you can't have a red shirt and like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, like a contrasting color face mask. Everything has to match. Um... What else? So this one is one that I made and I was going to show you guys how to adjust it. I tell you what, we'll go to Corel. I'm all over the place today. We'll go to Corel. We'll scan in the template. We'll press some and then I'll show you guys how I am telling you or suggesting that we adjust them or how I found I like them to be adjusted. Okay. So let's go to Corel guys. All right. So I've got my Corel draw open. And uh, I've got my scan in. So basically, I just took uh, one of these face masks, laid it on my scanner. I've got an 11 by 14 brother scanner, and I just scanned it. Um, I left the, the top open. You know, you can close the top or leave it open. I left the top open so I could have kind of this black area because anytime I'm scanning anything white, it's gonna, that light's going to bounce off and it's going to just reflect, reflect back white. So... Um, so that's what I did. Uh, Miriam asked if the medium size is equivalent to the small adult. And yes, Miriam, they are very, very similar to our PFM 44s. All right. So I've got my template and I can kind of see this is my edging here. And then this is my inner area here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around this and then shape it. So... I do Corel a lot differently than other people do Corel, and that's just because I was trained differently on it. But if you can do a different way, you do whatever works for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to this section right here and click on my flyout menu. I'm sorry, Kristen. Now I see your comment. Let's see. Um, hold on. Was... Uh, yeah, no, that's wrong, Kristen. I'm, I don't know, uh, if, if you're talking about the PFM, the new face masks, no, they came in a couple of days ago. Um, so call your sales rep, please. 
Um, and I do have a template. Guys, I do have a template. The templates are available online. I was just going to show you guys how I create a template. I was just, that's all. Um, and I had another, uh, do these have the filter pocket? They do have the filter pocket. OK. All right, so I've got my Bezier tool. So here is my, um, my freehand tool. And then I'm going to click on my flyout and go here to my Bezier tool. So now I'm just going to just put little anchor points and click where I need my lines to be anchored. OK, so now I've just got a square that is drawn. I'm going to go over here to my shape tool draw a box around it because when I draw a box that selects all my nodes. So I'm going to right click, click on to curve. Now once it's clicked on to curve, then I can come in and I can curve this however I want to. So I can move it and shape it how I need to. All right, so that's pretty much the interior area of my mask. And now what I want to do is I want to give it that bleed area. So I'm going to go back over here to my pick tool. And then I'm going to go to my contour. Now I already have my contour open because it's something that I use all the time. But if you don't have your contour open, the way you get to it is Windows, Dockers, Effects, and then Contour. Or you can just hit Control F9. So once you do that, this is going to come up, and you want to set your offset. So we always say that uh, you want a quarter inch offset. But these, because it is a sewn product, all sewn products kind of vary a little bit. So I want to give it a little bit more of an offset. I'm going to give it a uh, four tenths. And then I want my offset to be on the exterior. I'm going to say apply, and then that immediately gives me that offset. Now when I do this, what happens is it has these two parts welded together. So in order to unweld them, you're going to break them apart by hitting Control and K. And that gives you two different curves. So now that this is done, I can just delete that. I have my template ready, and it's ready for my artwork. So if I wanted to, I could just uh, import some artwork. Sorry, guys, by hitting Control i And let's see, what do I have? Oh, we'll use my robot's artwork. Very cute. And so now that my robot artwork is in my design, I have it selected. I'm going to hold down Shift, select my template, hit C to center it, E to align it. Now I want to bring my robot design to the back, hit Shift and page down, which is going to send it to the back of the document. And then I can just power clip inside by right clicking, going to power clip inside, and clicking on that outer node. And just like that, it's ready to print. OK. <laughs> right? OK, I, I hear you, Evelyn. I know. I, and you guys can totally get the template. It is definitely, it will be on condidesign.com. Uh, no, it won't. It'll be, no, it won't. It'll be on dietrans.com. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's been a week, guys. OK, I'm trying to get all of these questions. Uh, oh, Sherry had a good question. Do they all come with the rubber things? No, they do not. So the, the rubber things do not work with the fabric ear loops, and we're going to talk about that after we press some. So let's press some. OK, I've got that cute little robot artwork we just did. I changed the colors a little bit. I've got a, another cute pattern from Zaki Poo, and then I've got um, a big piece or a, a words are failing me today. And then I've got another piece of art that we're going to put on another face mask. So I've got three face masks to print today. All right, let's start with the small one. One of the things that you need to keep in mind is when you are pressing to the white trimmed ones, remember that the entirety of the white trim will sublimate. So what you might want to do is kind of tape off the edges here so you have a nice, crisp, clean edge. Let's, let's do that. I hope I got some, I hope I have some tape. I do. Yeah, I like the ones with the black trim too. I do. Um, all right. Okay. So I've got, let me come back to this camera now. 
All right, so let me get these out of the way. So if you guys have ever seen me do like a, um, uh, an oven mitt or a pot holder, you've seen me kind of do this technique with the, um, with the, the loop. My camera's not working very well. Where I just use tape to kind of make like a, a, a an area that's not that the image is not going to transfer to. So, like I said, I want I want the image to stop right about here. Now, if I if I wanted to, um, I could draw all the way around the edges of this mask, which is kind of like what I did. It's actually exactly what I did with this one because I wanted the straps to be sublimated as well. All right, so. Just going to take it and wrap it around and that's going to give me like a nice clean edge and then I'm going to do that for all four. Actually we're only going to do it on two. We're going to do it on this side so you can see what it looks like on this side without doing it. Okay so that's done. We'll see how hard it's going to be to take that tape off. All right. And then this pattern is for this mask. So the first thing we want to do is lint roll it. So you guys can see my press over here. All right. So got my sticky lint roller, or as Doug calls it, um, his undo tool. Whoops. All right, now I uh, always want to pre-press fabric, so we're going to, so this, th these new masks are 400 degrees for 60 seconds with about a 10 or 15 second pre-press at medium pressure. So I've got my heat press set for 400 degrees, I've got my timer for a minute, and it's going to go for 15 seconds. Um, Jay Perry asks, what's the difference between the colors of the heat tape? So the gold heat tape um, is kind of like a premium heat tape, and it's, it conducts heat very well, and it's good for like mugs and things like that. Um, so that's just what I use. The clear heat tape was kind of what we had before we developed the gold stuff. Got my pro spray, make sure my nozzle's nice and clean so I don't get any drips on my image, especially uh, these colors that are kind of like uh, not full uh, CMYK. They, they're going to, uh, they would really show the little specks. Um, will you show how the fit is? Yes, Melissa, I will for sure. I'll put them on so you can see them. Okay, so I spritzed it a little bit and I'm just going to kind of drag it through. Line it up. Okay, make sure it's nice and nice and smooth. Make sure it's actually on there correctly. Oh, the other thing that I was really sure to do, especially on the white trim masks, was to take off any kind of black outline that may have been in this design. Um, you guys know if you do like if you do a mug or something and you have to cut the template out, it's going to uh, you know that black outline is going to is going to sublimate. So I wanted to make sure everything was nice and clean. Okay, fourth time is a charm. There we go. We'll see. All right. Cover it with another piece of protective paper and let it go for 60 seconds. Okay. Keep forgetting to lint roll. Don't forget to lint roll. Um, Laura asked, do you have to use the spray? Um, I mean, you could, you could use tape, but you know, with the spray, it's going to keep the entirety of the mask down. Um, and also the tape is going to kind of pick up a little bit of the, the fluff from the fabric. 
Oh, okay. Luann says she just takes hers. Well, there you go. Like I said, guys, uh, whatever works for you, works for you. Um, do the ear straps lose their stretch when pressed flat? I do not think so. I, I don't believe so. Um, and like I said, I'm going to show you guys how I've been adjusting my face mask because I don't buy a face mask expecting it to fit exactly when I buy it. I expect when I buy it, I'm going to have to adjust it because I have the smallest head in the world. All right, let's see how that did. Moment of truth, no pressure. Okay. All right, I'll show you guys over here. So, there we go. Looks really good, looks very cute. I really like this design. Um, and let's take the tape off and we'll see how the two edges finished in comparison to each other. Now this tape shouldn't leave any kind of like discoloration or anything. Um, it should just come off really clean. If you can get it off. There we go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, so here is my nice clean edge that I finished with the tape. And then here is the other edge where I just kind of let it, whoops, just kind of let it run past. And it, like, it doesn't look bad. And I think if I had like a darker design, um, you know, you would definitely, it would definitely look a little better. So, or it, you would definitely be able to tell better that it, finished right there on that edge. Okay, so this is the PFM55, and this is the large size, and this is how it fits on me. So it's, you know, it fits. All right, and let me show you guys the inside too while I'm... So the inside has this little filter pocket here, and it also had the tearaway tag, which I just ripped right out. Okay, one down. Oh, where's my mouse? Okay, next, 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 next. So next up, we're gonna do, there it is. We're gonna do a small uh, black trimmed one. So this one is PFM 50. And I'm actually gonna leave the tag in this time just to sublimate. So, I mean, you could keep it in if you wanted to uh, the whole time, but I just don't think that the tag next to your face is gonna be very comfortable. Or you can leave it in and let the end user take it out. All right, so we're just gonna pre-press it about 15 seconds, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Um, so the bulk from the edges or seams don't get in the way of pressing. Uh, I have really haven't had too much of a problem with that. And if I, if I did have a problem with it, what I would do is get a little bit of um, the vapor foam and make myself like a little cutout um, to give to give it a little bit more um, uh, height. Just having trouble with words today, guys. Okay, didn't lint roll it. That's all right, so it's nice and flat. Um, okay, for this one, we're just gonna use tape since you guys asked about it, I mean, I'm sure we could. Um, if you are not proficient with the Pro Spray yet, I would try to be. It's, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool deal. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a piece of tape there. 
a piece of tape there. So the reason I really don't like to use the tape is because there's all sorts of things that could happen here. It's not really anchored down very well. That's okay. I'm actually going to use two more pieces. Um, Stacy asked a good question. How do these compare to the original large and small masks? And I will show you guys that in just a second. We'll do the We'll do the fit test and the, what do they call it, a montage? We'll do the face mask montage here in just a second after we get them all pressed. I'll let it press. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. And then for our last trick, we're going to do our PFM 44. Pro spray makes me sticky too. Um, Cindy, it's about, it's a medium to firm pressure. Um, so it's medium, medium. I just, I like to get on it. Um, Ray Tucker, how about a full wrap? Yeah, we can do the full wrap. Um, just like this one here, uh, you just got to create the template for it. All right, guys. Uh, why did you use tape on the ear strap? Just to kind of clean it up a little bit, get that ink line to stop. How many can you do at one time? As many as you can fit on this heat press. Um, yeah, you can fit as, uh, you know, so if I could probably, of this one, I could probably do, I, I know at least three, if not more than three at one time. Um, and if I were doing, oh, I forgot I taped it. If I was to do three at one time, at 60 seconds, I would probably do it for um, 80 or 90 seconds, depending. I'd do one at probably 80, see what the three look like, and, and adjust from there. Okay. Oh, this is cute. you guys up close. Isn't that cute? I like the black trim ones a lot. Um, I, they have like a really nice finished look to them. Let's go back. And so this is the youth or the small one and it's it's pretty small. It's very very snug. If I, if I open my mouth my bottom jaw would hang out the bottom. Okay. All right. Okay. The last one that I'm going to press today, I might do one more. The last one I'm going to press today is the PFM44. Now, this is the exact same size as this one that I was wearing. Um, we call this a small, but that's just because it's the smallest. It was the smallest one that we had. It's more like a... Uh, it's more like a like a petite adult teenager size. So, um, yeah, this is just sublimation paper. All right. So let's pre-press it and lint roll it. Piece of protective paper on the bottom. So the PFM 44s and the PFM 45s are double sided. They are polyester on both outer layers and cotton on the inner layer. So we're going to do both sides. Lint roll it. and pre-press it. All right, so we the large ones with the black trim are not in stock at this moment. Um, we are getting them all of the time. We get them uh, once or twice a week, they come in. So, oh, pre-press. Okay. Nice and flat. Take my image. Put some pro spray on it. And line it up.
cover it with a piece of protective paper and press it. So these, we changed the instructions. Uh, the instructions changes on these. These are 385 for one minute and 15 seconds. Medium pressure. Every, all of these have a medium pressures. Um, Kathy asks, are we also selling the filters? And no. Um, we looked at uh, the little nose things, but um, you can just get them on Amazon. The little sticky nose benders. Hey, Mom. Oh, Mom. Um, you know what, Mom? I do have this really cute one that I made earlier that says back off or back up. Um, you can have this one. My mom's getting on to me because I have not pressed her face mask yet. Sorry, Mom. And I'm over here talking about the four different styles that I have. My bad. All right, I got 15 seconds left. All right, guys. Um, are the ones with the ear things available? Uh, right now, I think the only ones that we have in stock are the new PFM 50 through 55s. Okay, this pattern is cute, cute. Man, oh man, look at those bright colors. Hot. Hey guys, if you put it in a 400 degree heat press and you take it out, it's going to be warm. All right, we're going to do both sides on this one because I like being able to, if I wanted to, to reverse it. All right, and then we're just going to press it one more time. So I was going to do this other one, um, but I don't, I mean, I guess we could. This is this ice cream pattern. Oh, I think I have my... This is a really, really cute pattern for like a little girl um, face mask. I think that's super cute. Maybe I'll do it anyway, just because I like it so much. I wonder if it'll fit. Hmm. Can you do both sides at the same time? No, um, metal is really the only material that you can do two sides at the same time um, uh, because it uh, conducts heat very well. Um, with the fabric, the fabric is just taking all of that heat uh, away from, um, it's just sucking the heat in. So you need to do one side, let it cool for a minute, flip it over, do the other side. Okay, this is the PFM44. Very, very cute. Okay. Um, all right, so now let's talk about adjusting your face mask. So what I have been doing, um, I like the fabric ear loops uh, a little bit better than I like the elastic ear loops. And I just think that the face mask kind of fits on your face a little bit better. So let me, let's talk about, um, let's talk about that. So this face mask fits really cute. You know, it's, it doesn't kind of, it doesn't really like bow out right here and it fits really well. Um, what I've noticed is the rubber band ones want to kind of uh, come out a little bit, but some people prefer that. Uh, so what I've been doing with these fabric loops is I've been taking these black rubber bands and these are actually big. The ones I used on my first mask were a little bit smaller. Um, so yeah, so I'm just taking these rubber bands and just kind of not even knotting it, just holding it together. Let me show you guys. Holding it together like that and then just kind of wrapping it around. There we go. 
And what I've noticed is because I wash my masks all the time is that the uh, I don't have to take the rubber band on and off. But with these rubber pieces, I do have to take those on and off if I'm going to wash them. And I'm going to show you guys how to put those on here in just a second, too. So, yes. Yeah, so Jennifer asked if they are back in stock. And yes, they are. The, uh, the new vapor masks are in stock. All right. There we go. So just like that. And now I can kind of pull it apart a little bit and... Possibly it'll fit on my face. Let's see. Cute. Okay. Now, for my very last trick of the day, I'm going to show you how to put these tiny adjusters on. And I thought I brought my paper clip with me. Oh, I did. Okay. So I did a video on Condi TV called How to Adjust Your Face Mask. And basically all I did was took um, just a bent paper clip like this and my little rubber adjusters. Now these rubber adjusters come, I'm pretty sure that they come with both the PFM44 and PFM45s and also the PFM44Bs with the elastics and the PFM45Bs with the elastic, but they will only fit on the elastic. So these are not gonna fit on your fabric ear bands. Okay, so when you get these, they have a small hole and then they have a large hole. You want to take your paper clip and insert it into the small hole, just like that. Let's see if you guys can see that. All right, and then take your strap, just kind of loop it on your paper clip like that, and then pull your rubber adjuster down, just like that. No, just like that. Okay, guys, so that's all I got for today. We did three face masks. I really, really like this one. I think I might keep it. Looks pretty cute. What I've noticed is now that everybody's wearing their face masks, I can't hear anything because I can't read lips through a face mask, but that's okay. All right, guys, can the mask be put into a mesh bag? Yes, Sandra, actually, yes. So that's, that's what I've done a couple of times is I just put them in a mesh bag and wash them. Um, but if, you know, you don't want your customer to lose the little ear stopper, so, but either way, um, that works. Yes, a crochet hook works. So for fabric, you are using rubber bands. Yeah, that's correct. I'm just using these little black rubber bands. The other, um, I don't have any, but the little clear, um, Dental rubber bands would work really well also. And that way, uh, what I have my, uh, a lot of customers saying is that they're just including some rubber bands in the bag and then let the customers put them on themselves. Okay, thanks, Mom. All right. Yes, it is medium pressure, Connie. So you're really not going to do... You're not going to do any damage if you go too much pressure, but you will definitely do damage if you don't have enough pressure. So make sure you have enough pressure that you're flattening those masks out so you can also get um, what the little bunching is. Okay, does anybody else have any questions? If you were picking one size to buy to be most universal, what would you buy? Girl, that's a question. So what we noticed when we were developing these or you know coming up with these is that we have tremendously different shaped faces in this country. We have small shaped faces, we have large shaped faces, so people really run the size gambit here. Um, so as far as a universal one, that's really hard to say because you have some that, you know, like this big one is just not going to work on me. This is, I mean, I guess it could, you know. Um, so that's, that's difficult. Uh, I would say Probably this large from Vapor, just because it's a little bit bigger than our small, but it's smaller than our large. Mm -hmm. Marinate on that for a minute. Um, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, do I have trolls? Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I always know uh, you're getting popular when people start trolling you. Okay, um, 
All right, guys. So, are you going to be doing a gator mask? Uh, Diana, I did a couple of gator masks a couple of weeks ago. I did the new thinner gators and the new thicker gators, and I showed, I think it was called Gator Madness, actually. All right. Um, Julie, make sure you're pre press uh, lint rolling. If it still looks like that, um, it shouldn't still look like that after you lint roll. Yeah, you got to lint roll really, really well. Okay. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching me today. I've got a couple things left before you go. One, if you want your email, or <laughs> if you want your design packs, please send me an email, swoodatcondi.com. I will be giving design packs out until 4.30 this afternoon. So you have 19 minutes. That's all you get today. So send me an email, s-w-o-o-d at condi.com. I will send you the two art packs that I did today, which are these two beauties right here. So email me, swood at condi.com, and I will send you um, these two really cute art packs over here. They're over here. They're uh, ice cream and robots. Very cute. Email me, swood at condi.com. Also, before you go, let's talk about my winners. Uh, every single week, I ask you to show me what you're doing by going to our client gallery and uploading an image of something that you've done. Every week, we pick a winner and we randomly give them a 25, well, we randomly pick a winner and we give them a $25 gift card. We also have a quarterly gallery contest that goes on where you have a chance to win $400 for first place, $200 for second place, $300 for third place, and it's themed. And this quarter, our theme is to show us your brand. So show us how do you brand your products, putting your logo, your um, reorder information on your products. Whoever has the best one wins $400. But I, every single week, we randomly pick somebody. We give them $25. This week's winner is cute. This week's winner is creative expressions and gifts. So Evelyn, hey, thank you very much. This is a beautiful face mask. She said, this is the best face mask I've ever sublimated on. I decided to try out the first one using pics of me and my husband. The first one I tried came out perfect. I highly recommend this. So thank you, Evelyn. This is the PFM 45. This is the larger face mask with the fabric ear loops. In addition to showing me your beautiful work. I also ask you to leave a review of a product that you have done randomly every week. I pick a winner. I give them $25 in Condi Cash. This week, the winner is Diane at Design Your Line. She reviewed our bulk fabric, F0001, which is our polyester fabric. She said, this is my new go-to fabric for print, cut, and sew face masks. Got a theme today. There is a slight texture that adds dimension to the print. The fabric is the perfect weight for sewing. There is no sheen. Uh, mind you, I am not a seamstress. I love this fabric, and I am brainstorming other projects that I can use it with. Thank you, Diane. Thank you all so very much for watching us. That's all I have for today. I'll see you guys next Friday, maybe, possibly. Uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you all later. Bye.